All right, welcome to another Python QGIS tutorial. Today we're going to cover spatial joins. So we're going to cover two different types of spatial join tools in QGIS and how to do those from the Python console. So first, let's go over the data I have loaded here into QGIS. First, I just have these two points. I created them. They don't represent anything. They're just for illustration purposes. I have this lines file here, which represents various stream segments. Okay, and it's not perfectly generated, but it gives you an idea of a couple of data sets we might want to join. And then finally, I have this black polygon, which is the outline of the watershed. Okay, so we're going to take a look at two different join tools today, um, spatial join and join by nearest. I'm going to find those. I'm just going to go down to the locate search box down here in the bottom left corner of QGIS, and I'm going to type join. And you can see we have join attributes by nearest and join attributes by location. Let's start out with join attributes by nearest. We'll actually take a look at both tools first. So you can read the description here. Basically what this algorithm does is going to take your input one and input two and it's going to find the features that are nearest to each other. So for example for our points here we're going to find the line segment closest to each of these points. Okay. And I guess if we did it the other way around we might find the point closest to each line segment. We just want to get two records in our output here instead of uh, the number of streams. Okay, and let's take a look at the join by location, join attributes by location. So let's take a look here. And so we have our input layer and our join layer. And here we need to specify um, a way to do the join. If we want an intersection, an overlap, it contains, equals, touches, crosses, or within. So we have those various options. All right, first let's go back and we'll do uh, join attributes by nearest. Input one is going to be the new points layer. Input two is going to be the stream order. Um, we'll just leave the defaults the same. We won't set a maximum distance. If we set this here, um, if points are a certain distance away, they won't be included. Um, we'll skip unjoinable features output and we'll just click run and create a temporary file here. Okay, so we ran that. We have this new joined layer. I'm going to close the tool window and let's just open our original new points, the attribute table. You can see we've got three fields, ID, value, and name. Now let's open the joined layer table. ID, value, name plus all of the um, values from the stream order layer. So let's open that up real quick. Okay, you see that? And you can also see that we've added a few other fields to it here. Go back over here. So we now have the distance to the feature this is going to be in map units, so we're looking at meters here. We have the number that are close, we have 1, the x, the y of the feature, and the x and y of the nearest. Okay, so there we have that. Pretty simple to do. Now let's take a look at how we can do this in Python. If you remember from previous videos, we can go to processing, history, you can see this most recent algorithm I've run. I can click on that and it gives me some Python code. I'm going to copy that Python code and close this. And now we'll go to plugins and Python console and we will start a new script here. Okay, I'm just going to start out and paste that code in. I'm going to rearrange this a little so it's easier to read. So we will hit enter after all these commas. So I'm going to do a backslash enter. So we got our file name there. Our second file name here. Then we have the fields to copy, which we just leave blank to get all of them. And this card non-matching is false. We don't have any special prefix for the fields. The number of neighbors to include, maximum distance, and 
the output is a temporary output. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's run this now again. And we're just going to take this input. Let's copy that. So we'll call this file name in. We'll call this fn points. fn pts is this fn str for stream is this one here. Put that up there. And now we can come back down here and we'll just replace these so they can be dynamic. So fn pts. and FNSTR. Let's say this time I only want to copy uh, one field over. So let's go take a look at our stream order fields. And let's say the only one I want is the length in meters, so length M. We can just come in here, fields to copy, length M right there. Oh, what did I do here? We've got, oh, this needs to have, put this little quote around it. So this is length M, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll still keep this false. We can have a special prefix and we can call this um, joined with an underscore, okay. So now we're going to have a special prefix on the first of our field. Um, we've been maxed this max to none. And let's um, create an output. FNL equals C temp. And we'll call this um, nearest join.shp. Okay, and we'll give this the file here. So now we'll call this FNL. And then we want to go iface.add vector layer. And um, here we need to give it our f and out. Uh, let me give it this. And then OGR is our data provider. Okay. Ready for this? Let's give this a try. See if it runs. It should add a new layer with this file name here and we'll see if that works. Let's click run. And we have an error on line 10. Oh, I forgot to put a close to the single quote there. That's our problem. Let's click run. Okay. And you can see we added nearest join here. So I'm just going to go ahead and close this. Let's open it up and see what the table looks like. Okay, and you can see that we have joined length right here. That's the only thing that got joined. Now we have the end, the distance, the feature X, feature Y. Okay, so we've got those things there. Now let's just try this one more time. I'm going to remove this. We'll just create, we'll just overwrite this layer. Um, plugins, Python console. And so if I do a max distance, and let's make this 73. This should only include one point now. So let's go ahead and 73.0. Let's go ahead and click run. Okay, now let's go and take a look at nearest join. And sure enough, we just have this one. This one didn't actually get joined. It still shows it in the output because we chose not to discard those features. Um, but as you can see, we just have that one. So I come down here and I can make this true. And now I'm just going to discard anything that doesn't match. So let's remove layer. And if I do this, it's going to give us just one record to return. So now let's open up our attribute table. And there it is. Now we just have that one record. Okay. So that's how you can work with the, the join attributes by nearest. So... Uh, Join by nearest there. Okay. All right.
Now I'm going to get rid of some of these layers we've created. Okay, and I'm going to actually comment out everything down here so that we don't get in the way. And now let's do our join by location. So let's go in and first of all we'll uh, We'll close the Python console. Let's zoom out <clears throat> and let's use the width ends. We'll use the polygon and the two points there. We can use intersects for within. They should give us the same result. Let's turn off our uh, streams and we'll just use these. Okay, so oops. Let's go back to our join attributes by location. And here we can give our input layer as the watershed boundary and our join layer as new points okay and we want it where they intersect we could also do contains within we'll just use intersect for now we have a join type you can create a separate feature and do one to many create a separate feature for each located feature Take attributes to the first located feature only. And this will give you a one to one. We'll do the one to many. So hopefully we just get, uh, let's go, let's swap, let's go to new points and watershed boundary here. And we'll create a temporary layer. Let's go ahead and click run and see what kind of output we get. So you can see we've joined this layer here. We have this blue color for our points, and we have two rectors. We have our ID and our grid code. We can open up our watershed boundary, and we just have ID and grid code there. So we joined the watershed boundary information to each point. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll remove this, and let's see if we can get this to work in Python now. So we'll go to processing history. We'll get the code for our joint attributes by location. I'm going to go, I'm going to just grab this and copy it. Close this and now back to the Python console. And we'll paste that code right here. And like I did the last time, I'm just going to go through and make this a little more readable by hitting a backslash and enter after each input parameter um, that we have here. This will just take a quick second. And if you remember in our last video where we did some raster analysis with slope, um, you can make functions out of these things that take the inputs as parameters um, to make them a little more reproducible. Okay, so here we have our input. We can just give it our same file name, which was uh, FNPTS. Let's grab this and we'll give it, uh, we'll name it FN Watershed, FNWS, and we'll put that definition right up here at the top of the file. FNWS equals that file name. And so we have our predicate here. Join fields, we can do the same thing. We have our method, which is zero. Um, discard non-matching, prefix, and temporary output. We're going to do fn out right here. But we'll change this to location join. Okay. And for these uh, methods, you may need to look these up in the documentation, which we can do right now. And so the best way to find out how to do this is um, to display the help for an algorithm. So I'm here at the QGIS documentation page. You can see the URL up here. And if we scroll down, we have this processing.algorithm help. And so we can type in um, the algorithm we're using and it will give us information about the input parameters. I'm going to copy this line here. We're going to change the uh, 
native buffer part. So we can close our attribute table. I'm going to paste this directly into the console. And uh, this is joined by location. It says it's not found. Let's just go double check our history. Join attributes by location. So we can click the up to get the latest command. Join attributes by location. I have an extra R in there. Sorry. Get rid of that. Something is still not spelled right. So I'm just gonna let me just go copy and paste this out of here. So history. QGI. Oh, it's QGIS, not native. That's our problem. I'm just going to copy this whole line there. Fix the little quote there. Let's bring that down, go up. Paste that. Okay, so there we go. Join attributes by location, QGIS colon. Join attributes by location. We'll hit enter. And now it's printed out a lot of output here for us. So let's just scroll this back and take a look here. So we've got our output. We're looking for method. Here's our join type. Available values. Um, I'll create a separate feature. Take attributes to the first. So there's our. that's a different method there. We have our join fields. We have our predicate. So this is the the method we're going to use if it's intersect contains equals touches overlaps with the inner crosses. So that's how you can get the information for each of these processing algorithms. Okay, so we're just going to keep our defaults the same here. And um, I just realized I don't have processing.run up here, which we need. So we need processing.run. You said this was QGIS join attribute by location. Okay, and then comma backslash enter. Okay, so this should work now. Um, we should get the same output. Let's go ahead and click run. Oh, we're going to add, sorry, we're going to just add real quick. Um, uh, iface dot add vector layer fn out empty name and ogr as the provider and that will add it right in when we click run so let's click run and see if this works run we don't get any errors here our layer gets added in let's close our console and make sure that it worked Turn that off. Okay, it looks like it works. Let's open the attribute table. And there you go. We have our watershed attributes added in. Okay, so that is how you can use Python and QGIS to automate um, spatial joins. We covered the, the general join attributes by location and also the join attributes by nearest. Hope you found this video useful and informative. As always, if you have suggestions for future videos or things you want to see, please leave a comment down below. I do try to get to those as I have time. Um, also, check out the Open Source Options Facebook page um, and the Open Source Options website. I do have some courses. I'm revamping the QGIS plugins course. and It's going to be available now, um, well, soon on the on the open source options website and if you follow the facebook page i'll make sure to have an announcement on there when the new course comes out um, and same thing on the youtube channel i'll try and announce it there too once again thanks for watching thanks for your support enjoy the rest of your day